Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 16 states, the circuit diagram shows resistors connected in a series and parallel combination. And the first part of the question asks us to calculate the resistance of the resistors in the parallel branch of the network. Now it is worth mentioning that the question then goes on to ask us to calculate the total resistance of the resistors in the network. So all it's doing is breaking it down into two steps for us. So the first part is referring specifically to the resistors in parallel. And if we see these are numbered, we have R1, R2 and R3. And those resistors are in parallel. So to calculate the total equivalent resistance of those three resistors, we can use the formula 1 over RT is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Therefore, 1 over RT, substituting in our values, R1 is 12 ohms. So we've got a 12th, plus R2 is 2 ohms, so plus a half, and R3 is 10 ohms, so plus a tenth, giving us 1 over RT equal to, as a decimal, 0 0.683 recurring. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that answer in the display of my calculator because what we've calculated there is 1 over RT. And we're not asked to calculate 1 over RT, we're trying to calculate RT, which is going to be 1 over that answer. We're taking the reciprocal of each side. So I'm going to write 683 recurring, but I'm going to use my full calculator answer. So 1 divided by answer gives 1.46. 3 ohms. So what this is telling us then is that we can replace those three resistors with a single resistor and that single resistor will have a resistance of 1.463 ohms. And in fact I'm going to modify the diagram to show you what I mean. So we take out R1, R2 and R3 and in its place we have this new resistor we can call it R123 because it's a combination of those three resistors and it has a resistance of 1.463 ohms. Now the second part of the question wants us to calculate the total resistance of the network and all we would need to do now is for series resistors add those three resistances together. So let's move down to our working area. And we can say this time that the total resistance is R123, the new resistance, plus R4 on the diagram, plus R5. Well, we know R123 is 1.463. And from the diagram, R4 and R5, R4 is 1 ohm, and R5 is 22 ohms. So 1 and 22, so plus 1 plus 22 equals 24.463 ohms.